friends. Hello our friends. This week we are going to be showing you these Supervision watercolours. Can I just say, it's a relief to have something decent on the channel after two weeks. Well, we haven't reviewed them just yet. And <laughs> <laughs> we wow. don't fully know. So these were sent to us by a viewer called Beatrice. So thank you yes. so much, Beatrice. Thank you very much. Super appreciate. Because the price point on these watercolours is actually fairly high. Yes, and they ain't cheap. There is not much information about these online. I've been doing a couple of like research videos into them and there's like a bit of drama going on, but I will get into that a bit later in the video. There's drama about these, really. Yeah. Hey, you. Oh, I'll, I'll tell you all about it as we I just thought they were a cute little ocean themed set, you know? I've also purchased uh, some watercolour pens, which I have accidentally left on my desk. Oh, right I'll get now. those, I'll get those. <laughs> because these are tubes. Yes. So, uh, they and they work best in pens, but it doesn't. Here are the Supervision watercolours. There's a few sets that they have, but this one in particular, I thought it had a quite quirky, like, theme to it and yeah. I'm a sucker for themes. So as you can see it's called Ocean Paradise. These are the colours that are going to be in this set and um, I'm presuming that they're all called chameleon colours and the idea behind them is that there's sort of like two different pigment colours in each in tube. Ooh. So let's have a look inside. Oh. oh there they are. It's such like an aesthetic little box. Now like I said I do have some pens over here. Yeah. I ordered them online thinking that they looked like a nice size. Look how tiny oh. these oh, pens are. Oh baby pens! So if I want to like fill up a full like tubes full of these I'm gonna have to fill up like a bunch of them. So basically I, I managed to find a couple of like reviews but there's not many out there because I think not many people have like wanted to. I had pay no them. idea these existed. Especially like, when there's sort of like negative like reviews out there. Exactly. The negative reviews are the because there's two colours in like this tube. I don't I don't fully get all like the science behind it. There's other reviews on YouTube where they explain it like really really well. But yeah. the the simple gist of it in a very basic stuff way. One way around or the other, you can see why my brain's getting confused. So, so, what, so one of them so, is an actual pigment, but the so other one is a dye. Basically, um, for people who've kept them in tubes, one of the secondary colours when they finally got around to using it after like a year or something has completely vanished and there's only been like one colour to the tube. Yeah, that's going to be part of the I test hope they today. Work. Oh my god, yeah. yeah. Otherwise this might be the most dramatic paint video we've ever done. <laughs> oh, I'm excited to do it. I have an idea as to what I want to do as well. And I've also got this little guy. Oh, he's an ocean he's friend too! Sent to us from Miss Solanum, and I felt like this is his moment. <laughs> this is his moment! Yeah, because I love it's that. like an ocean paradise theme. Like, like, let's just get some aesthetic shots of him with uh, the jellyfish on. As you'll notice from the back of the box, uh, they don't technically have colour names. I think they're all just either like chameleon, 311, 309, 321. They're numbered, like, yeah. yeah. they're all just numbered. Yikes. Well, that'll make what I do today in <laughs> I am so ready. Look how cute these little pens are. They're I love like them. Polly Pocket watercolour pens. So, I mean, because you guys know Steph has the tiniest little hands. Okay, so look at that. 311. Oh my god, are you actually organising them? Oh yeah, yeah, numbers. Just so if we use like a colour and we want to use the same one, it might get confusing if we've just got them in pans and no sort of identifying like factors. It's a good them. idea, yeah. She's more than just a pretty face. She's also organised. Plus for swatching purposes, this is be Oh no! <laughs> Oh my god! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, he's, exci he's excited to see me. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know if you can see that real quick, guys. Let me try and get close. That, that looks really cool. First impressions, I'm very impressed. Okay, same again. Let's do it. Oh, oh this one's thick. It's coming out like oh, a turd. Oh, yeah, that one is a thicker. It's like a... That's, oh my god! <laughs> it looks what? just like a poo. One thing I'm quite impressed with is that oh, the caps come off pretty easy too. Is it easy does it, honey? Easy. Oh, I think you've done a good job though. I like that colour as well. That one's quite ocean themed. Yeah, I themed. quite like it. It's got sort of like um, a grey, like muted ashy blue. 
It certainly does. Okay, this one is a number... I wish they had like cute collar names instead of like 317. It's, no, ocean themed as well. They could come up with so many cute names with the ocean. Oh, oh that's there's a lot weird. of uh, a, like binder or something coming out with this one. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. That looks good. Yeah, a lot of binder came out first there. Okay, well, we can like mix that up in it. It might not necessarily be an issue. No, it looks all right to me. It does look like it's got like a sparkly green. Yeah, it reminds me of the it. first one that we did. Oh, my hands are getting quite like sticky with the binder stuff. Oh, really? I think it's because it's uh, a bit on the, on the caps. On oh, I do like that color though. Oh. oh, he's a thick boy. What do I do? <laughs> oh, he's thick. There we go. It's got quite like an emerald. Yeah, it's an interesting looking color, actually. Yeah, I am um, impressed from the colors of oh these stuff. Easy, oh. girl. <laughs> easy, easy. I'll just put the, the lid on this one again. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I've had some exciting mail and I'm very excited to just quickly update you guys. Ooh, so thank you to Dove for sending some Scoobies and some other little... Scoobies? That's what they're called, Scoobies. Oh, okay. Have you guys ever used Scoobies before? I used to use them to make like keychains and bracelets. I also wanted a moment to just quickly say thank you so much to everyone who's been sending things to us. Yeah. Um, we want to like properly make a video about like everything that you guys like send. So I want to quickly put the names up on screen of like everyone who sent things. Thank you so much everyone. It's thanks to you guys that we're able to make these videos. You mean so much to us. <laughs> I am cranking out my watercolour sketchbook. Oh, that's a fancy boy, Cotman. Yeah, a Cotman one. It was Adam, my lovely boyfriend over here, who got me this for my birthday. Oh, oh, oh it's doing the thing. Let's see. It's do oh. Can you see that? It's doing it. Look at that. And if you just sort of give it um, some time, as like it dries, the other pigments start to like come out with this stuff. Oh, it's like magic though. It's so glittery. That's gorgeous, yeah. It's very, very pretty. Look at that. I'm enjoying these more than what I was expecting to. I wanted to just quickly compare like the swatches. Apologies, they are in a bit of like a random order compared to these. But if you see up here, we have got 311 and that's this one Ooh. and I would say I can see like these different colors that's happening in this yeah that's quite impressive I'll also overlay um, some of the swatches as they catch like the light yeah I'll... because uh, sometimes in different lighting they've got like different colors that kind of come out and it would be a shame to not show them doing that sparkly yeah, definitely. thing uh, number three or nine so that's this one here and this one here Again, uh, 321. I really like this 321. It's got like a lilac and then also like an aqua blue kind of peppered throughout it. Oh, sorry, I've got one of my hairs there. Uh, 322 is over here and 322 is here. And I feel like that's one that needs to catch the light to really see to really the secondary see yeah. color of it. 323. Yeah, I'd say that one's doing what that is. There's a lot of gold in that one. That which one's is super sparkly. Yeah. Super, super sparkly. And if you see how it's dried on the edges, there's some like really dark colours. So I reckon that you'll be able to get like some really nice tones Ooh, out of that one. 327. Uh, this one is one of my favourite ones. I'm really enjoying like these blue ones with like the reddy hues, like that 311. That's like the star of the show. I can see why they've named these ones like Chameleon Chameleon and they've put them at the front because 311 and 309 are uh, probably like two of the the showstoppers yeah, from the this box. Yeah, the 309, where you've swatched it as well, it looks like a, like a sea reed or a plant. Yeah, very, it does. It already kind of looks like seaweed. I'm very impressed with and how they've translated from the photograph on the box to actually being swatched. I am, yeah. so far, very impressed with these. Because these have had some pretty scathing reviews from what I've seen, but so far I'm having fun with them. I am enjoying them. 
let's uh, jump into drawing something and oh, seeing what they look like in a whole painting because it might come together looking a bit different. I wanted to mention that we were putting them into the pans yeah. because somebody in one of their reviews said that it preserved the colours of the two-tone colours when they were in pans compared to when they were in the tube. So I just want to make sure we've definitely got some backup paint in like It's pans. a very good idea, yeah. And yeah. that way, maybe in like a year's time or something, we can do like an update review. Or if we don't end up doing like a full video about it, we can at least like write in the comment section. Just to let you guys yeah, know what happens. Just so that you, you know, know like what happens yeah. with these paints over time. The other aspect I wanted to address, because people always do when it comes to like watercolours, is light fastness. Ooh. That one's a bit more of a tricky one to answer because they're not like a well-known brand and there's not a ton of like information about them that's necessarily out there. There is like things that are put like on the tube but I've seen from like other people saying that it's not like fully accurate. The gist that I've kind of seen is that for the price point that you're paying for these, these aren't really light fast or at least based on like these reviews that I'd seen that are from like a while yeah. ago. I'm getting them also as someone who is like, oh glittery, two colours, that's exciting. Yeah exactly, so yeah. So if you're someone who likes to play around with quirky watercolour uh, Go for it. Well, know? we haven't tested them yet, but that's that's the angle I'm thinking that the Mosso marketed to. Because I love these paints so much, hun, mm -hmm. I'm gonna do something that I might regret. I'm gonna go straight in without doing pencil stuff. Oh wow! So I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna be brave. Okay. <laughs> Your silence <I> know. <laughs> is worrying me. I have my inspiration, believe it or not. Okay. I'm gonna bring this paint over because I really like this one. That's the one that's got kind of like black and gold mm -hmm. used to it. I really wanna, ooh. Oh, it's rare that you like fully load up a, a yeah, brush with that. That's this. what I wanna do. I'm gonna move this aside and I want it to sort of leak in. Gosh, look at the the glitter. It's there. really fun to play with. Yeah. Oh my god, it's crazy how pigmented they are. Oh my god. There we go. I'm gonna do that for this one. Now I don't know. If it's immediately obvious yet what it is I'm trying to do, and if it isn't, bear with me. It's cool just to like and tip it wobble around. the pigment and stuff around. Yeah, I really like it. Yeah, what's like a good idea to do with watercolor is um, when you let it dry, if mm. you let it uh, tip a little bit more to one way, and that way you end up getting like a darker tone on one side, and you get like this lighter color. On, oh, like, the other. okay. And it can create like a lighting effect as well if you play with it in like a. Oh, she's teaching me. Look at that. Isn't that cute? And I also wanted to use one of the other colours as well. And I'm going to go for the one that Steph really liked this 3, 2, 1. Ooh. This one here. And I'm going to try and do something similar to what I just did. But a little bit smaller. I have no idea what I'm going to do for mine. You want me to tell you what it is? Is it like a school of fish? It's gonna be a big round whale friend uh -huh. with a lot of jellyfish around. Oh, him. so are you like. Inspired I'm inspired by, by, this by him. Fella? That's it, yeah. <laughs> I was hoping it'd dry and then I could use like a white Posca pen to do some little dots or something oh, on him, similar do you know to what that the guy. White Posca pens are? Not off the top of my head, but I reckon oh. I could find one. And the cool thing about jellyfish is that you can't really draw jellyfish or paint them wrong because they're just blobs <laughs> and like you can you can do any shape it doesn't really matter i really liked what you were saying about going without a pencil sketch Ooh, okay. and i did that recently with a marker challenge that we did on the channel so maybe it's one of those things where it can pay off or it can go dreadful but i was thinking that maybe doing some kind of like coral reef kind of plants oh that'd be awesome yeah because there's so many different colors in that kind of stuff and shapes and mm -hmm. 
Now the sketchbook that I'm using, because I geniusly use my watercolour sketchbook to do all my aesthetic swatches, <laughs> and this one's just like a mixed media one, so I'm not sure how well it's going to take to uh, these watercolours, but we will... <laughs> That's so you, using the aesthetic nice watercolour paper just for swatches. That's so like you. <laughs> At least the swatches got some good action out of these. Well, true. This is going to be very improvised. Oh, I like that though. We're being very brave. Yeah, <laughs> on camera as well. Normally when I get experimental, it tends to be in like my own downtime. I've got like such big respect for people who watercolour like professionally or, or you know, whatever, but they just go straight in like that. Like- Oh, put... without like a pencil yeah, sketch. Yeah, like you guys must have like a clear idea of what it is in your head and like to be able to translate that, that's like crazy. You can definitely see that this paper isn't handling it as well as what my uh, swatching paper did. Because you use cup, man, that's like really good quality stuff. Well, this one's a mossery, but it's a mixed media oh. mossery. Well, still, my, my, my comment still stands. But yeah, take it as a, a lesson from your pal Steph over here. Use watercolour paper, <laughs> like my swatches. No, but the thing is, hey, what you've done here is like, the, the mastery sketchbook I'm using is watercolour paper, right? And yours is a mixed media one. Mm -hmm. If anything, we're showing you guys how they react in two different like papers, so. That's true. It's a, it's a helpful thing. Like, I, I think you guys will appreciate that, right? <gasps> okay, I did actually like the direction that this painting's going in, but let me show you what the problem is. Because this is not watercolour paper, it is really punishing me for it, and I have never seen watercolour go through on a page like that before. <laughs> so I'm starting to think maybe I should just bite the bullet and do something in my watercolour sketchbook. And maybe I can save this with some like Posca pens afterwards by drawing some little details in. <laughs> Now, I want to go in with the Posca pen because the Inspiration Whale, which is what I'm going to call him, has these like little white spots. Oh, I can get him for you if you... And there he is. See? He's got some like little polka dots on him. And a white tummy. And I thought like, it, it looks so cute to me. I was like, oh, I wonder if I can try and replicate that. I don't think this would work with like a gel pen or anything like that. Like you need something as pigmented Very as this. Very daring of you to pump it every time that you're doing it, because that like puts a big. That's what. That, of that's how I there. want it to look, though. Oh, okay. If that's the effect that you. I mean, I can do little dots as well, but. Yeah, you get more of like a controlled size of the dot when you do it like that. Am I making you anxious? <laughs> well, you just never know with Poscas if you just gotta go. <laughs> and end up yeah, like that's true. A handful of paint. <laughs> then what I'll do is I'll put the cap on that one, and I will need the black one to do his face, but also some little jellyfish details as well. So I might do one eye there, and maybe one eye here. Aww. These little dot ones, just like our little whale friend, and then a big whaley smile. He's happy. He's whaley happy to see you. Whaley him. happy! He can have like his little flipper thing there as well. Maybe he can be, because he's a, he's a sea mammal, he can be blowing bubbles. And then these jellyfish, what I wanted to do is like go in and like manually draw like their little like jellyfish tendril oh, things. Oh, I like that. Like I don't even know how many, how many wavy little tentacle things do jellyfish have? I don't know if they've got like an assigned amount where like it's a uniform amount every single time on every single jellyfish. Oh, that's sweet. So they just do whatever they want. Does anyone know the answer to that question? Are there any jellyfish experts out there? <laughs> this guy can be waving to him like, oh, Mr. Whale. <laughs> You know Adam's drawings going into a place where he feels more confident when he starts doing the little voices with the characters. <laughs> we feel safe and happy. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. <laughs> well, he's a bit straight faced. I like how he's waving, but he looks like dreadfully concerned. <laughs> oh, same whenever I have to greet someone.
If you want to check out our other watercolour videos, why not try these on screen? And don't forget to like and subscribe so we can see you next time for another duel date. Duel date! Bye!